guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. And I am for real excited for today's video because we are talking about ceramide moisturizers. Probably my favorite skincare ingredient, right? I'm always talking about ceramides. They are crucial for a healthy functioning moisture barrier. Healthy moisture barrier means beautiful, healthy skin. And I know my skin is just happier with a little ceramide loving in my skincare routine. So today I'm really excited to talk about five moisturizers that contain ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. Oh yes, the holy trinity of barrier supportive ingredients, right? And I think I've got a little bit of something in here for everyone between all five moisturizers. And of course they're all fragrance free, essential oil free, and alcohol free. Plus everything's really affordable in this video. All these moisturizers retail $25 and under with some even under $20. So some really good value in the video. If you are so ready to get these ceramide moisturizer reviews started, give the video a big thumbs up and let's do it. Ceramides make up 50% of your skin. You want to think about them like the mortar to the bricks and mortar of your skin. Ceramides along with cholesterol and fatty acids really help hold hydration into your skin while helping to protect your skin from outside irritants like pollution and bacteria. Now your body actually naturally makes uh, ceramides, but just like all good things that our body does for our skin, it does seem to um, decrease as we get older. We can make less ceramides, which is sometimes why a lot of us do feel that our skin gets drier as we get older. It may be because we're making less ceramides. The good news is applying ceramides through your skincare products is actually very effective. So good news, you can definitely help, um, you know, boost up your ceramides by applying it through your skincare products. And really my favorite way to do that is through a moisturizer, particularly a moisturizer that contains not just ceramides, but collect cholesterol and fatty acids as well. Those three essential components of your moisture barrier. They're just better together like peanut butter and chocolate. So I've ordered all five moisturizers in this video from the thinnest and lightest textured moisturizer all the way up to the more thicker emollient and rich moisturizers. So starting with the thinnest and lightest one, this is Innisfree Green Tea Probiotics Cream. So on the ingredients list, we're gonna find Ceramide NP, also known as Ceramide 3, and this is a really common ceramide to find in skincare products. You're also gonna find an ingredient, I'm gonna butcher the name, it's called Hydroxypropyl Bispalmamide, uh, also known as MEA, much easier. This is a pseudo ceramide and it really mimics the effects of a ceramide NP or ceramide 3. Now a pseudo ceramide really what that means is it's been made in a lab instead of sort of naturally derived and really we're not giving up any benefits it really behaves the exact same way on the skin. Really the benefits here to using a pseudo ceramide is that it's a lot less expensive so it helps keep the price of the overall product lower. This also includes an ingredient that I find super fun to say and that's phytosphingosine. Now if you are super into barrier health you need to know about this ingredient because this is actually a ceramide precursor and when you apply this onto your skin it can actually signal to your skin to create a little bit more of its own natural ceramides. It's a ceramide stimulator so this is definitely a nice one to find in your skincare products especially when combined with ceramides themselves. This is also a really good ingredient for those who have acne prone skin because phytosphingosine, I love saying it, also has some great anti-inflammation benefits and it's antibacterial. Now, as I mentioned, you know, this is really the lightest texture on the list. And as you run this uh, cream between your fingers, you're not going to feel a lot of richness or emolliency or nourishment. This is not that type of cream. This is really more of a lightly occlusive cream without a ton of emolliency to it. Now I think this is going to be a great ceramide cream for most skin types. It's got a really pleasing texture overall. It performs really nicely to calm the skin. It leaves your skin very soft and protected, but it's not overly emollient. It's not um, overly oppressive or heavy on the skin. This is 
is truly a light to maybe medium weight cream, um, but really uh, it is a very pleasing texture. I think this could work for oily skin types all the way up to combination, more leaning on the oily side. If you're super duper oily skinned, probably reserve this as your night cream, but even still, you're not going to feel like this is overly oppressing your skin. And uh, those of you who are maybe oily, combination oily, and dehydrated, this is probably not the one for you. I'm just speaking from my experience as a combination, slightly more on the dry side, but very dehydrated skin type. I can tell you for me, this isn't quite occlusive enough to fight transepidermal water loss, to fight the dehydrated feeling. Don't worry, I have you covered in some other products here. So just a, a word to the wise for my dehydrated brothers and sisters. This one, maybe not for you, but I think that this has one of the most pleasing, lightweight, breathable textures while delivering all those good ceramides into your skin. Next up, Cosrx Moisture Power Enriched Cream. So ingredients check. We have ceramide and pea very common, but nothing wrong with that. We also have an ingredient called glycosphingolipids. This is another ceramide precursor quite similar to phytosphingosine. We do have the cholesterol and uh, quite a few different fatty acids here, so it checks out on that front. Interesting, we have panthenol. This is another uh, favorite ingredient of mine. This is a fantastic humectant, so it draws a lot of water to your skin and binds it down, so it's a great hydrator for your skin. But interestingly, enough, Panthenol also has the additional benefit of helping your skin to produce some more moisture retentive lipids. So very moisture barrier supportive. And another ingredient favorite of mine, ooh, it's getting juicy, right? This also contains propolis. Now propolis, another great humectant, so it's great to bring some hydration into the skin, but it also has some fantastic anti-inflammation benefits to it as well. So very good, especially if you're having maybe a bout of irritation or sensitivity on your skin. Now I do have to just sort of point this out it does contain coconut oil which usually is a very fantastic ingredient if your skin is very dry and usually not the best ingredient if your skin is a little bit more on the oily or acne prone side so just so you know you know if you don't like coconut oil just be aware it is in this product now the texture actually looks really similar to the Innisfree moisturizer, but it couldn't be any different in the feel. This is a very different type of cream because it has this almost airy humectant feel to it at first. You can tell this is a moisturizer that has some of that hydration to it. But along with that hydration comes a really pleasing emolliency, a little like light richness to this cream that you can feel. This has some nourishment to it while still being pretty lightweight. You know, I would say that we're encroaching on like the medium lightweight territory now as far as the weight of this moisturizer on the skin, but even so, it's still very light, very breathable. It provides good occlusivity, and what really surprised me about this one for having a nice kind of emollient feel to it and containing an ingredient like coconut oil, right? No shininess at the top. This does not have a finish at all. It absorbs in the skin really, really nicely, um, and it doesn't leave any richness at the top, no shininess, no greasiness, nothing like that. Very pleasing, neutral finish to this moisturizer. And holy moly, I am obsessed with this moisturizer. <laughs> I've had it for a few um, months. It took me a while to really get on board with this. You know, my expectations for this cream were pretty low, so I was using it like here and there, but not really regularly. But over the last month, I've been just picking this one up um, all the time because I really fell in love with that airy humectant feel that this has, that really light and breathable um, protective layer that this creates on my skin without being too heavy, without being too rich. My skin is very combination right now. It's, it's got some real dry areas, but it's got some real oily areas right now too. I do treat my skin on the more dry side, but this is actually just that right balance with enough nourishment for those dry areas without being too heavy or too greasy or too thick feeling, especially when it's hot outside in those oily areas. This is so good for combination skin and it's got that right amount of nourishment and occlusivity that makes this perfect for fighting dehydration. This is enough for my dehydrated skin. It's protective enough. Like I have fallen in love with this so, so much, like sleeper hit of the summer, if you know what I mean. So I'm really gonna recommend this one, definitely combination skin. Whether you're on the oily side or the dry side when it comes to combo skin, I, I still think you're gonna really like this one. I think even dry skin types who really crave a 
a lighter type of moisturizer, like a day cream type of feel, this would be great for you. And of course, if you have dehydration, this is one of those beautiful ceramide creams that does fight transepidermal water loss. Next up, let's talk about Xeroid Soothing Cream. Now, Xeroid is a very popular sensitive skincare brand in Korea. I actually kind of think about it like CeraVe. It's very similar. It's got a very similar minimal approach that is really appropriate and gentle for sensitive skin types. Now search the ingredients for ceramides, cholesterol, and you're not gonna find those words anywhere and you're like, wait, what the heck? What is in this cream? Where's the ceramides? You will come across an ingredient called MLE. This stands for multi-lamellar emulsion. Now this is actually a patented ingredient that was created by the company Neofarm. Now Neofarm is the parent company for brands like Adopalm, Derma B, Real Barrier, and Xeroid. So MLE is really this breakthrough ingredient or technology, if you will, because it mimics your skin's lamellar structure. And really the easiest way to, to think about this ingredient, MLE, is basically like a pseudo ceramide cholesterol and fatty acid. So just like you can make ceramides, you know, man-made in the lab, they have created this multi-lamellar emulsion that mimics what ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids do to the skin. So rest assured, this is an excellent barrier supportive ingredient. And bonus sort of shout out to the ingredients list here, it's very very minimal and it is a very simple. I mean, really staying true to the heritage of this being a very sensitive, skin-friendly brand. We don't have any like crazy extracts in here. We don't have any like weird ingredients when you're like, maybe that's beneficial for my skin. I mean, they're really just using the ingredients that get it done without any frills, without any extras. Now, the texture was actually pretty surprising to me because when I first got it out on, from the tube onto my hand, I was like, okay, this looks like a nice, like very traditional medium weight kind of cream. But actually, Actually, as you kind of like run this across your skin, it almost thins out a little bit. Um, and it, it's actually a lot lighter um, in feeling than you expected it to. There is some emolliency to this cream, but it's not as nourishing. It's not as, as moisturizing. I thought this was gonna be like a deeply moisturizing kind of cream. It's not, it's actually um, pretty balanced. Uh, that's really the word that I, I think of when I wanna describe this cream in all senses. It's a very balanced cream. It absorbs very quickly into the skin, it's got some nice light balancing moisture to it, but it's not greasy, it's not heavy. This is a very medium, lightweight type of cream. It's got some um, occlusivity to it, but it's not an overly occlusive type of cream. Absorbs down really quickly and there's no shininess, there's no finish at the top. Now, as I said, balance really is the key word to describing this cream because it does balance out the skin in a really nice, light way way i really think this is best for combination skin even on the bottle it says for dry skin but honestly i don't think that this has enough moisture i don't think that this has enough emolliency and nourishment to it for dry skin i just really don't i think this is more suited for combination skin the occlusivity on this is very light it will lock it down but it won't lock it down enough for dehydrated skin yeah even when i use this during the daytime when it's not too cold and dry yet but i did start to feel those whispers of transepidermal water loss throughout the day. So I can't recommend this one for dehydrated skin, but for very sensitive skin on the more combination side, even leaning towards the oily side, this is such a beautiful, minimal, gentle, straightforward cream for very sensitive skin. Um, I think that's really where it's going to shine is for combination sensitive skin. So I couldn't not talk about Iliune Ceramide Ado Concentrate Cream. I'm sorry. I know I talk about it all the time, but that's really because this is my go-to number one moisturizer for my skin. So let's do the ingredients check. We have a pseudo ceramide here. It's called M-E. A, and this mimics ceramide NP. Now the interesting thing about the ceramides in this cream, that one little thing that sets it apart from other creams, right, is that the ceramides are being delivered to the skin in capsules. It's using encapsulated technology. Now really the theory behind this is um, when you apply the cream, those capsules burst and they help to keep the ceramides super effective until the time that you apply it. And then when they burst on the skin, it helps 
these ceramides to dive in deeper, get deeper into the skin where they can be more effective at healing your skin. That's the theory behind any type of encapsulated skincare ingredient. They are using it in this cream. Is it marketing? Is it the secret sauce to why this cream works so well for me? I have no idea, <laughs> but that is actually their one little sort of claim to fame with this one. Now we do have cholesterol and fatty acids uh, in this cream as well. Interesting, just sort of fun note, there's ginseng extract in this cream. Not something you would expect, but ginseng is a fantastic antioxidant and definitely an ingredient of interest to me. Another sort of interesting ingredient here is a fermented soybean. Now fermented ingredients, as you may know, can really help the penetration of skincare ingredients and just the overall skincare product. I find it interesting that they're using the encapsulated technology. Really the, the aim of this cream is to get those ceramides deeper into the skin. And they're also using some fermented ingredients here. So that's a really interesting combination. Again, I don't know if that's the secret sauce to this or if it's just kind of a coincidence, but I did find that combination to be very intriguing. As you move this cream across your skin, you're gonna see those little white, it's really like flakes in this cream and that those are the capsules of ceramide. Now this cream, it is definitely a medium weight cream. It's got a really nice emolliency and nourishment to it as you kind of run it between your fingers. This absorbs really quickly into the skin. It's got really beautiful absorbency and it really does nourish the skin. It really moisturizes and replenishes the skin, comforts and soothes it. But the interesting thing is with all that emolliency, with all that moisture to it, it doesn't have a finish. This is what really impressed me about this cream from the first time I used it over a year ago now because it absorbs so beautifully and I really expected it to look shiny on top of my skin. I expected to see that nourishment and richness on the top with like a greasy layer and you don't get that at all. It's just like it's absolutely beautiful neutral finish on the skin. You can go right in with your sunscreen, right in with your makeup. Very, very impressive for so much nourishment inside of your skin. You've got none of that richness on the top of the skin. You guys know I love this cream. Um, I absolutely am just so, so in love with this cream for so long now. I've been using it for over a year and I can truly say that this is performed for me year round. I just cannot stop reaching for it over and over and over again. It just gets the job done. This is my recommendation for people who have a similar skin type, you know, combination more on the dry side. Uh, even more dry skin uh, type folks, I think you're gonna love this one. If you have dehydration, you gotta give this one a go because it's got that right, at least in my eyes, that right amount of occlusivity. It seals in your skincare, it locks it in place, it's really tough on dehydration, on transepidermal water loss, but it's still breathable. You don't feel like there's this heavy, oppressive, like layer sealing your skin off. You still feel light, breathable. It's hard to describe, I think you guys know where I'm going with this though. It's just, it's not super, super thick and heavy. And I just really appreciate everything about the texture, the absorbency, the amount of nourishment that it brings. You know, even when my skin is feeling a little off, a little irritated, a little, a little sensitive, when I put this cream on, it really does have that soothing and calming effect on my skin. When I get dehydrated, my skin gets a little itchy and irritated. And I put this on and my skin just feels so comforted. I call it a cozy uh, moisturizer. This does get the gold star for best value in this video because the size is huge. This can be used uh, for face and body, by the way. This is a size 200 milliliters, which is huge when you consider most moisturizers are only 50 milliliters. So super jumbo size with a tiny price tag. This retails around $17. And another cream I've been raving about more recently is the Pyongyang Yul Edo Cream Blue Label. Now this is a renewed product. The old version did contain essential oils. This new version does not. So ingredients check. We do have ceramide NP because of course we do, right? I told you it's a very common ceramide to be found. This does also contain quite a few different fatty acids, but I'm a little bit confused on this one because I don't see cholesterol 
anywhere on the ingredients list. Now, one thing that I have learned over the years is that there are some ingredients that kind of like contain cholesterol, but they don't get labeled under the word cholesterol. I don't know if that's the case. I just don't know. I don't know if that's the case in this product. So this is a little bit of like a iffy entry in this video, I will admit, because I can't tell you for sure if there's cholesterol or not. But I will say in the performance of this cream, I still feel very confident recommending it because it has really similar performance to these other creams. Now let me talk about another interesting ingredient in here, copper tripeptide one. What? A peptide in a moisturizer? Now you guys know I get super excited over peptides and copper tripeptide one is like the one that I get excited about because it's got amazing anti-aging benefits. However, I don't believe that's why this ingredient's been used in this particular cream because one of the lesser known benefits of copper tripeptide one is its skin regenerative and wound healing abilities. Meaning that this is gonna be a really great ingredient for skin that is very irritated. It's got that nice healing and regenerative property. Texture wise, this is very solidly medium weight. As I mentioned in the beginning, we went from the thinnest, airiest texture all the way up to the thickest, more emollient type of texture. And here we are, the thickest one. And and even so, it's it's not super duper heavy and thick. I really do stand by the fact that this is still a medium weight cream. It's got really good emolliency and richness to oh, richness to it. I got really excited there. Um, this does contain macadamia seed oil as well as shea butter, so it's got that real characteristic, nourishing, moisturizing feel to it. Um, but it's still delivered in a really nice, still breathable, not too heavy, not too oppressive layer really good absorbency. Now this particular one, just a whisper of shininess at the top of your skin. This is not greasy. This is not like a thick layer of oil on top of your skin, not even close, but this will just give just a little bit of shininess to the top of the skin. This is really my top recommendation in this video for dry skin. This is going to be the one for you. And if you have dehydration on top of that, you're going to like this as well, because this has the right amount of occlusivity to it to fight transepidermal water loss. Plus it's got so many great nourishing ingredients in it. This is really something that comforts and soothes the skin. For sure, this is a lot more emollient and a lot more rich than the Illy Yoon cream. But even my skin, even though it is still a little bit more on the combination side uh, during this season, I'm still really liking this one. Is it my choice when I'm super oily in my T-zone? Maybe not, but when I'm feeling a lot more on the dry side, I've been reaching for this a lot and it really does the trick. It's got that really beautiful comforting feel to it, that repairing feel to it. It really just does like get into that area and really fortify it with nourishment and with moisture, with occlusivity, but it's not heavy. You know, like I said, this is a medium weight cream. This is not something that feels thick on the skin or even waxy on the skin. This doesn't seal your skin off. It's still a very breathable cream. It just really packs in the moisture. So I'm a really big fan of this one, especially for dry skin. Great for dehydration. If you're oily, don't touch this. <laughs> it's going to be really, really just too rich for your skin. But for those nourishment seekers, you're going to love it. Ooh, so that video was like months to like a year in the making. It was a long time coming, but I'm so glad that it's finally here and hopefully there was a moisturizer in here for you. So whether it has ceramides or not, let me know in the comments which moisturizer are you using currently. I'm always curious to know what you're using. If you love the video uh, and it was helpful for you, but you didn't hit subscribe, please do that before you leave. Um, I release two new skincare focused videos every single week and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on any new uploads from me and come join me on instagram if you want a like daily dose of k beauty or me on your feed i hope you guys are having a fantastic day i really can't wait to see you in the next video and you know that i am always wishing that you are healthy happy and safe i'll talk to you guys soon bye